I would describe myself as huge alky. I have a couple drinks a day. When my mom drinks, she just doesn't stop. I dare you, I dare you. She'll either drink rum or vodka, a huge bottle every day. Filming me? She'll drink whatever she gets her hands on. I pretty much feel like I'm out of control. My drinking is 10% me, 95% others. When I drink, the truth comes out. When my mom's drinking, she's physically violent. How would you do? She has slapped me in the face, broke my glasses. Just broke my glasses. She'll break coffee table railings. One time, we're watching Netflix. She went to the TV and threw it down. Once he took a vacuum cleaner and hit me over the head with it. I dare you! He has taken a baseball bat and knocked a hole in the door. One time we were watching American Idol and I was making snack. I was lighting the candle and it caught the trash bag thing on fire. She set fire to a trash bag and set the house on fire. She just had this really creepy look on her face. They called the popo. I was in jail for 164 days last year. Guess what I got charged with? Dr. Phil. Arson! My mom's very smart. She has a master's degree with honors. Her drinking has progressed where she can't even hold a job. She hasn't worked in over two years. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a novelist. I have several books. Sadly, my mom is an alcoholic, and the alcohol just makes her very delusional. I spoke to Hillary Clinton the other day. I'm very busy with her uh, campaign. She called me herself to thank me for winning Iowa for her. She does not know Hillary Clinton. For years, my mom has tried to get help. I've been to treatment centers, mental hospitals, and I've even been to jail. Treatment centers are dumb. Just a circus. I feel like Dr. Phil is my mom's last option. I mean, I'm not in denial on that drinking. I raised my hand. I've drank many a time in my life. I don't think drinking has the, is the issue here. Well, Treva is here, and she's going to join us now. So, Treva, if you will, uh, come on out. Hello. Have we seen the doctor? Hi. Wow. Woo. How are you, Dr. Phil? Yeah, have a seat. I got a step for you here, so watch your step. It kind of blends oh. into the floor. Mm. Did you lose your shoes along the way? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. You just uh, took them off? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel about You're being here? You're a very nice person, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I've heard people say very nice things about you as well. Who would that be? Well, I mean, it's a, who would that be? Your husband and your daughters um, find you when you're not drinking or upset to be an I'm amazingly never inspiring be person. Drinking. Yeah, and uh, uh, your daughters, that's a, that's your daughters, the in, irony in this whole thing. The doc <laughs> your daughters in particular find you to be very inspiring. You're very inspiring. Where's Robin? We know. Robin, she's right out here. Say hi, Robin. Can you Robin, move the boom? Can, come here. Can you come move here, the Robin? boom? Hi. Robin! How are you? Who loves you more than me? I love you. That's Robin. And um Thank you. All right. All right, what next subject? I don't know what the subject is, do we know? <laughs>